Hello, welcome to episode 6 um, of this multivariable physics series. I'm going to be talking about optimizations now, and uh, let's get right into it. And the first thing I want to think about is that in multiple dimensions, uh, we don't exactly have the exact same notions of maximum and minimum um, that you do in two dimensions, because in two dimensions, right here x and y well we have a few we have like two cases we have this case where things gonna go down until it hits right a point that goes up or we have this case where it's going up until it hits some max point that goes down right but in three dimensions we can have um what are called saddle points so let's think of the function f of x y is equal to x squared minus y squared. Okay, so in, in y squared we actually have this function going down, but in y in the x-axis we have this function. So you actually graph the surface that comes out of this. It, it's this weird like it's not uh, around this point like it's going up, but it's also kind of going down. Right. So around that point, it looks something like this. So this point right here at f equals zero, right, at our origin, is this a maximum or a minimum? Because it, 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 you know, it depends how you look at it. Like if you look at it from the y-axis, is a y. It's a maximum, but if you look at it from the x-axis it's a minimum right so it you know it, it happens that this is actually neither so there's these cases th that are called saddle points where they are things aren't necessarily a maximum or a minimum even though there might be there might actually be a maximum if you looked at it in, in, in one sort of dimension so let's think about this Let's define what maximum and minimum look like. So first of all, a point A is a local maximum if, if uh, for all x, so for all x, uh, so it's a local maximum of f probably not going to vector there if for all x close to a f of x is strictly less or strictly less than or equal to f of a so what's that saying is if we have you know some surface this point here if we take all these neighborhoods here all of these little points inside this neighborhood are smaller than f of a. That's all that that is saying, right? It's a local maximum. And then two, a is a local minimum of f if for all x close to a f of x is strictly greater than or equal to f of a right and this has the exact same intuition except reversed you know you have some surface and then for all x in some neighborhood right f of a if all of these are lower are higher than f of a then it's a it's a minimum point um and then finally we have it is an extremum is an extremum okay if the gradient at f of a is equal to zero obviously because it's not the vector isn't going anywhere right it's not moving um so we call this point so f of a when this happens is called critical point 
and, and you probably already know this from regular calculus, right? You have a critical point. Um, so the next step is how can we classify critical points? Like if we find a critical point, how can we classify it? We want to classify it as some, because this here, this is a critical point too, f of zero, the gradient at f of zero, okay, is going to be zero because that's just two times zero, two times zero, right? But if you notice, this is a critical point, but it is not a maximum or a minimum. So we have to classify a critical point as either a max, min, or an SP, a saddle point. So we have those two different classifications. And so in the next episode, I'll get into exactly how we can classify those. I just want this to be a, a quick episode on sort of the intuition optimization.